Have you made it to the end of your artichoke growing season? If you're in a warm zone like us here in zone nine, there's a good chance that your artichokes look like this. Once they flower, the stalks start to die back and they begin falling over. In extremely hot weather, artichoke plants go dormant and so then the plants start to fall down. And at this point, it's a good idea to chop them down at the ground. No matter what, artichoke plants go dormant in the winter time and so you need to chop them down prior to your first frost or prior to winter time so that you can protect the crowns and let them overwinter. If you're in zone eight or above, you can grow artichokes as a perennial and they'll produce for five to seven years. However, if you live somewhere that's colder, there's a good chance you won't be able to grow artichokes as a perennial. So you don't really have to worry about this. You're gonna have to plant them as an annual. But here in zone nine, we do get to grow artichokes as a perennial and they get to be really big. They grow to be four to six feet tall and four to six feet wide. And then you have these really large stalks that are really big at the end of the season. And once they start falling over, you have to get them out of the garden because they really just take up so much space and it's not just a few leaves that fall over, it's these huge stalks. And the easiest way to chop them down is with a handsaw. I have a Saker handsaw, the link will be in the description and it's so great for all kinds of gardening tasks because the stalks of the artichoke plant are really too big to use pruning shears and so using the saker saw makes it so simple so you just cut them down right at the base of the plant and you can leave about six inches or so and then before winter comes just mulch those root crowns so you can protect them from the frost and then come springtime you can remove the mulch and you're going to have new shoots that start coming up sometimes you may even get a second batch of artichokes in the fall. Sometimes this happens for us and sometimes it doesn't. It really just depends. At the end of summer, I chop them down at the ground and then sometimes I'll get the second batch of growth in the fall and sometimes I won't, but come springtime next year, I will have new artichoke plants that come right back up and produce beautiful artichokes. And if you don't have artichokes in the ground yet, be sure to head to this video next where I show you how to plant them in your garden so that you can have artichokes in your garden too. I will see you there.